Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading for October. This is a general love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I'm not focusing on specifically singles or couples. It's just whatever comes out, comes out. If you are looking specifically for a singles reading, those will be posted as well, probably around the exact same time as this one. Um, what else? I will also be posting mid-monthly and weeklies um, just in case this one doesn't resonate for you, one of those might. There's got to be one in there, right? Um, anyway, Sagittarius, here we go. If this doesn't resonate, though, um, check your moon and Venus sign since this is a love reading. If you don't know that, just Google birth chart. You know what? I don't even want to start with this deck. I'm going to start with this one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Overall for Sagittarius. <laughs> Knight of Swords. I will show these to you guys as I read them as well. Recent past for Sagittarius. You got two. Oh, okay. Look at you. Queen of Wands showing up in your own reading. That's awesome. Right along with the lovers. That's in your recent past. Hopefully you're still in that energy because that's amazing. Present energy for Sagittarius. What do we got? Oh, the full reverse. You've got back-to-back -back majors. Immediate future for Sagittarius. Three majors in a row, the moon. It's a big month for you guys, huh? What are you hoping for, Sagittarius? Wow, thank you guys, spitting them out. Oh, and another major, the high priest, reversed, but either way, one, two, three, four majors in a row. Like I said, it's a big month for you. Potential obstacle for Sagittarius. I knew I should have picked up this deck, I knew it. Thank you, universe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fifth major in a row. It's the Empress reversed. However, it's just, oh, this is crazy. One, two, three, yeah, five. Not even halfway through the reading, guys. What are you afraid of, Sagittarius? King of Wands reversed. You've now got the King and Queen both on the board. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Um, as I was saying, you've now got the king and queen of wands both on the board. However, one is reverse and one is in your fear position. We'll get to that, though. Advice for Sagittarius. Advice for Sagittarius in love in October. Thank you, guys. And another major. I am blown away. What are you guys doing? It's reversed, but it's strength. Oh, my gosh. I wish you guys could see this the way that I see it. Ugh. I love my setup, but sometimes I really just need you guys to look at it the way I'm looking at it. It bothers me. All right, here we go. So for me as a reader, um, the overall energy is always the person that I'm reading for. So that would be you. Um, the overall energy that you guys are taking on during this month in love is the Knight of Swords. So you guys are really speaking your truth, speaking your mind. There's a conversation that's happening. If you're in a relationship, it's just you guys are, are you know, having some kind of a serious talk. Um, communication's awesome. Everything's out in the open. Um, if you're not in a relationship, there is something going to happen here. Somebody's going to, I don't know. We'll see. Somebody's going to say something. Somebody's going to come in and, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to say to you guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm dying. I should not even be doing these today. Um, but anyway, they're going to be revealing some truth, or you are. What it pertains to, obviously, this is a love reading. So that's what it would pertain to. Um, I think it's you, though, guys. I think you need to have a talk with someone. That's too many. Let's clarify this Knight of Swords. Hmm. 
Well, that's strange. It's the three of earth reverse, which is the three of pentacles reverse. So I do you need to tell someone that like you don't feel like there's any kind of teamwork here, that you don't feel like you guys are working together. Um, I don't think that it's somebody revealing a third party connection may have something to do with being involved with somebody that you work with. Um, but it looks to me like somebody just needs to have a talk about where the relationship is going because it looks like somebody feels like, like there's no teamwork, there's no partnership. Huh, interesting. Okay, so now in your recent past, so guys, here you are with the Queen of Wands. This is going after what you want. It's being confident, goal-driven, ambitious, life of the party, all that good stuff, right? So you guys as well as Leo and Aries, but um, it's feeling really on top of your game too. And you have the lovers with that Gemini energy. So whatever's going on now with this not feeling like there's any kind of teamwork or partnership, it wasn't always like that because your recent past looks awesome. Like this is a balanced connection. It's harmony. Like you guys were good and you were confident about it. There was all kinds of passion. Um, but for some reason it's right now you're just not feeling like things are, things are moving forward or something. Um, again, we'll see why. In your present, you have the full reverse. This is Aries energy. If you are dealing with an Aries, probably out of sorts since they are reversed, but either way, with the full reverse here, it's like somebody feels like something is risky. Um, somebody might feel like something is risky and they really don't wanna take any chances with it. It's like a lack of, a lack of a new beginning, a lack of, um, wanting to start something new, a lack of wanting to just take a chance. Okay, somebody's being real cautious. Let's clarify the full, and that's too many. Clarify the full reverse for Sagittarius. It can also go the whole other direction and somebody could be being really reckless here. Let's see why though. Why is the full reverse for Sagittarius? Okay, so you've got the Maiden of Air, which is the Knight of Swords um, in regular tarot, right? Um, you have this as your overall as well. So you've now got the Knight of Swords right underneath the Knight of Swords. <laughs> okay, so definitely there, if there's not already a lot of communication happening, a lot of truth coming out between you and another person, it will be. And it needs to be because it's really strong here. It's just a lot of truth, a lot of communication. And it might be somebody's communicating that they really don't want some kind of new beginning with someone or they don't want to just jump right in. Um, they feel like that would be kind of careless. They don't want to just jump right in. They really want to be cautious with this. Um, and if it's because you work with the person, obviously that's why. Clarify this Maiden of Air, AKA Knight of Swords. Oh, the Six of Cups reverse. So water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is past energy. Um, it could be you have someone coming back from the past that, you know, has something they feel like they need to tell you or you to them and Um, okay, guys, if you are still thinking about an ex, it doesn't look good in that direction. I would give up on that. If you have an ex coming back to you, I think that you need to make sure that they know you're not trying to have a new beginning with them. You're not risking anything. You're not taking any chances because this past energy here, whether it's a past person or just past life energy, whatever, um, it wasn't the greatest. It really wasn't. <laughs> All right. Um, so maybe that somebody's, you know, coming and wanting to tell you that they still feel a certain way or you them. Obviously, this can go both ways, but somebody's just not willing to take that chance again. 
They don't want to open that book again. It's done. Chapter's closed. No more. Right? Okay. Now in your future though, you have the moon. This is Pisces energy. This is hidden shit. There's some things that you don't know. Some things they don't know. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius. Queen of Pentacles. Mother of Earth is Queen of Pentacles. So Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So there are some secrets around either an Earth sign or somebody that's already in a commitment. So the Queen of Pentacles is very committed, very devoted, um, very maternal, financially stable, all that good stuff. But there's some secrets there. So it might be that somebody is revealing that they're already in a relationship here. Um, this is, this is a really strange reading, guys. Honestly, there's so many majors here, but there's also so much, like, back and forth crap. All right, so to clarify your Queen of Pentacles here, you have the Nine of Swords reversed. So, this is Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's healing from anxiety, depression, um, whatever. It could even be physical illness, mental illness, all that stuff. But... It's like, you have this, hmm, I don't want to say you have this commitment in the future, although I think that you do. Somebody here is going to be really committed here in the future, unless somebody's hiding a commitment, which I think that that's more likely, honestly. Um... Because there is past energy here, and I don't see I don't see you going back to it. But then you have this committed energy. Maybe you were actually married to the person, or maybe you guys lived together. Um, hmm. Interesting. We just have to keep going because there's three out of the next four cards are major, so. Hopefully we'll figure this situation out because it's super confusing to me and I don't know if I'm just off today or if it's because your energy here is so heavy with all these majors. It really is. All right. Anyway. Okay. So your hope here, you have the high priest reverse. This is Taurus energy. And there's so many signs here, guys, that it, it's impossible for me to tell you what sign you're dealing with here actually let me just before i go on let me just read you the major signs here okay obviously we've got taurus gemini aries pisces libra taurus again and leo okay those are your majors but either way with your hope being the high priest reverse here you're hoping to either be out of a commitment um because there are issues of not working together, there are still some past issues that are not resolved. You're hoping to get out of that commitment or you're hoping that um, somebody else gets out of a commitment, which could be this in the future, somebody's hiding another person here. Um, you could be hoping for that to end. So it could be with this past energy being the queen of wands and the lovers that you guys once had this connection, right? You once had this connection, but then something flipped it and it became out of balance. And now the past that's there, you don't look back on it really like it was a good thing. Or maybe you do, maybe it's them. Maybe they don't look back on it like it was a good thing. <laughs> um, hmm. All right, your potential obstacle, the Empress reversed. It's lack of growth, lack of expansion. It can also be another person here. This is like baby mom, ex-wife type of energy. So it could be another person interfering. Libra Taurus doesn't have to be one though, but definitely someone who is committed, you know, or was, right? Um, it's also divine feminine, but it's reversed. So someone in this connection or situation is having issues with a divine feminine, whether it's feminine within themselves or, you know, one outside of themselves. Somebody here is having some issues with like an unhealed feminine energy. 
Hmm. Wow, guys. Okay. What are you afraid of? The King of Wands reverse. So your energy again, as well as Aries and Leo, but with the King of Wands reverse being a fear. So there could be a person that's, you know, relevant to you in your love life that's really controlling, really demanding, might even use people for sex, might be abusive, narcissistic, egotistical. Um, otherwise, it's like, you're afraid that somebody is not going to have any kind of attraction left for you. So let me just show you this here, guys. So you've got the Queen of Wands in your recent past. You have the King of Wands reversed uh, as your fear. So, and don't forget you have the lovers back here too, right? So this is that couple. This is that couple that was once in harmony with each other, in balance with each other, in line with each other, all that good stuff, divine counterparts. But one of them is not anymore. Um, and I think it's you. I think it's you that's not in this anymore. But again, it could be them. That I mean, that's you're the only one that can figure that out. Um, definitely, this involves a connection that is from the past. And the other person might already have someone else. Somebody wants it back. Somebody doesn't. You're going to have to decide if that's you or them uh, because I can't from this reading. It's just somebody does and somebody doesn't. Somebody still has passion left for somebody doesn't, right? Okay. Now, in your advice, though, you have strength reversed here. So you really need to get back in your power. You need to get your confidence back. I think... There was a time here with you having the Queen of Wands in your recent past. There was a time where you were like real confident, um, you know, probably really outgoing. You know, people really attracted to you. You really felt good about your appearance and whatever. And I don't, you know, not that appearance is a big deal, but that's Queen of Wands energy. So that's why I'm saying that. So don't be all weird coming at me talking about appearance because it is relevant for the Queen of Wands. So it's like... There was a time back then when you felt good about yourself and felt confident and you could go after what you wanted, but you're not feeling that now. So you have to get that back. Whatever it is that you need to do self-care wise um, to get your confidence back, then you should do that. It, I mean, it could even be something as simple as having a conversation about past issues to get some kind of resolution and I don't mean going back to the person I just mean so that you can it, it can help you heal whatever's unhealed inside you because of this past connection clarify strength for Sagittarius yeah again so it's a corona fire reverse which is the king of wands reversed which you already have here right same card I know it's a chick on this one, but it is what it is. Same card. So with the King of Wands reversed and Strength reversed there, guys, it's all about your confidence and being passionate and going after what you want. You're not in a position to do that right now with where your confidence level is. You can get there, but you have to. There's some work that has to be done here. And I really think that it's, it's something from the past relationship or whatever person that really just trashed your self-esteem and your self-worth and you have to get that back um okay gosh this is such a heavy confusing I mean I guess it's not confusing it's just ugh. it doesn't make me feel good guys so I would not deal with any with any of this shit. I would not deal with this person. If you feel like you need to have a conversation with them, which it looks like you do, then go for it. But pay attention to yourself and your healing. And once this person starts to, you know, make you feel like shit about yourself again, then it's time to just block them. Okay? All right. Take care, guys.